It's a two-part question here. I believe this is question number five for us. What is the law of diminishing returns? Can you give an example of when diminishing returns have set in, could set in at the place you work or would like to work? We'll answer that first question first. Law of diminishing returns state that as more units of labor are added into production, there will come a point where the, there will be diminishing returns from the factor from that factor, and so marginal productivity will fall. This also applies to other factors of production. For example, if I'm paid an hour at a construction site, when I put six hours a day, the construction progress progresses smoothly. When I start to put in eight hours a day, my productivity drops and my quality of construction is poor. This is when the decrease in returns to the factor has been fixed. So again, marginal dimension, law of diminishing returns states that as more and more units of labor are added, production then will come a point where there will be diminishing returns. So you're not getting in as much as you are putting in. And give an example at a construction site, Let's say six hours is where your peak productivity is. And at, so we'll just say at six hours, peak productivity. Once you start going over six hours, then other factors like you're tired could come in and at the seventh hour or even the eighth hour productivity declines and same thing here and then Second part of the question is, what is the difference between economic profits and accounting profits? Can you give example of cost, opportunity, or explicit? So opportunity is also implicit. You think your firm overlooks might, can you give example of cost that you think your firm overlooks or might overlook when it calculates its costs and profits? So accounting profit is what is left over when the company deducts total costs from total revenue. So, it's part two of this question over here. Let's say clear all. Nice, I didn't know you could do that. You learn something new every day. Accounting profit is simply just total revenue minus total costs. After consider so accounting profits are what is left over when the company deducts total costs from total revenue after considering all the tangible costs that can be shown in the books of accounting. Economic costs are what remains after the firm provides implicit costs. So economic profit, say EP equals total revenue minus Explicit cost minus implicit cost. Implicit costs are opportunity costs, so the costs you forego. And economic profits are what remains after the firm provides for implicit costs, such as opportunity costs of underta undertaking the existing business or the next best alternative forfeited. These are economic profits. The next best alternative job that every employee forgoes when taking up his or her current job is the best example of how that cost could be overlooked. So again, I agree with that. I will just say, great answer and explanation.